Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of the most difficult trading card games to get into, unless you know where to begin. Starting from absolutely nothing and a budget of £40 per week, we set out on a fresh journey to climb our way to the top tables of competitive play. To make the journey even harder, there's going to be a series of obstacles in our way. Not only are we restricted to sealed official product, but certain items like Structure Decks and Dual Devastator are off-limits and locked behind a number of challenges. Join us as we prove ourselves to be a true duelist and turn this into a competitive monster. You're watching Yu-Gi-Oh! From Scratch, Challenge Mode. Welcome back to episode Svansik, episode 20 of your favorite money disposal in children's cardboard program. Last week we managed to get some shiny new staples in Perm and Feather Duster while also going flawless at locals. And by flawless I mean two wins and three draws, damn it. Today is episode 20, so we're not actually going to locals today. Instead, we'll be dueling some of our patrons. We'll be playing the third generation duel where we face off against the season one deck at the same episode. And finally, we'll cop a peek of the updated collection binder at the end. So lots on the plate today, but before we do get tucked in, it's tax season, baby. So allow me to avoid bankruptcy by fulfilling a nice contractual obligation. Smile. Do you struggle to sleep at night? Are you haunted by that time at Locals Top Cut when you asked your opponent's Alistair, but they had invocation in hand anyway? You know what you need? Audible. You need a good audio distraction to lull you to sleep. And audio, well, it's pretty much in the name. Audio is Audible's specialty. Whether it be some pleasant ambient noise or something with a bit more meat, Audible's got you covered with more titles than you can shake your deck at. As an Audible member, you get access to one free credit per month that you can redeem against any title from their premium selection. The best part is that you can get your first 30 days for free at audible.com slash revscards or by texting revscards to 500 500. I've said it once, I'll say it again, it's just one of those things worth having, you know, so uh, try it out and thanks to Audible for sponsoring this episode. Now, our budget this week is back to the good old 40 pounds. Can we actually pull one of the cards we're trying to get for once? Or am I gonna have to bring back Mama Revs? Luck points ain't looking too shabby at the moment, but we do need all of them. So uh, you know what to do, blue ball the luck god into giving us everything we could ask for. And click it. Click it. We're back at the children's cardboard gambling machine. And uh, I don't have any maximum gold left. We're gonna be opening something different today. We do still need to get Hopier Squadron and the Herald of Arclight, but unfortunately, I am still waiting for some maximum gold to arrive. So, instead, I mean, today might actually go pretty quickly, but our budget was, of course, 40 pounds, and we have a pound change. We spent 39 pounds. I wonder how we didn't actually get that much because Battles of Legend Armageddon is so expensive. So we have four packs. Four different arts, we got, you know, Dad, Trish, Judgment, and Chaos Emperor. We are going for that third and final Obedience Schooled. And then we can finally be done with the set forever and never have to look at the garbage inside here ever again. And then on top of that, we are going for our kit, Super Rare. 26 Super Rares in the set, so uh, definitely going to be pretty hard to get our hands on one of those, but... Here's hoping, so we have six packs of Blazing Vortex, 10 packs in total. It's gonna be a quickie today, but it could be worse. It could be much worse. So let's just fire on into it. Rendezvous is a common that we would like to get our hands on just to have, but kit is of course the main thing we want. Can we play Pot of Prosperity? I have no idea. I haven't really thought about it because we're most likely not gonna pull it. So uh, anyway, we have Knight of Armored Dragon. The Synchro. I guess this is like an armed dragon ritual monster. I mean, it kind of looks like the armed dragons, but yeah, I'm not too uh, too familiar with the full armed dragon support. We have armed dragon blitz. Okay, I mean, most likely, I guess. Giga Thunder Geeklops, Amalgam. Oh, <laughs> we got a secret rare. S Force a Bridgehead. Yo, the Rota field spell is like key to the S-Force deck. S-Force really hasn't done anything since it came out, unfortunately, but hey, it's kind of cool. S-Force Specimen, Ascendance, Genesis, our little Dogmatica Pogchamp, and Power Metal Foes Fusion. Yo, you could play a killer guitar with those nails. All right, well, a secret rare out of the first pack. That's cool, I guess. Maybe that means we're lucky. Would have been even better to get Pot of Prosperity, but I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. It's just a super we're wanting. So we have S4 Showdown. 
We got Machina, Uncle Spare, The Fable the Bank, The Little Blue Beaver, Guitar, Gurnads, Duonigas, and Armed Dragon Thunder, level three. Oh my god, we're gonna get a full Armed Dragon core or engine before we get um, kit, aren't we? We have Breath of Acclamation, Spring Guns Blast, Xuan Wu, and Tilted Try on the slot machines. That's essentially what we're doing right now. Haha. -ha. All right, another Blazing Vortex. And then we'll dive into the Armageddon. We have Apollosa's sister. Damn. Spring Guns Pedor, we got the Digimon thingy. Digama, yo. Uh, Spring Guns Rocky, 1800. And we got Great Grand Sea Gold Gaganda. This actually just reminds me of Jack 3 when you're driving around in the sand buggies. I'm getting some nasty juju vibes here. Very cool. We also have Sean Wu, Blast, Buford, and Rota, number two. All right, let's crack on in to the Battles of Legend Armageddon. As always, Obedience Gold is what we're after. Invocation would be nice, and Chaos Emperor Dragon would be cool. So, Dragon Buster, Destruction Sword, we already have one of those. Artifact Sanctum, ooh, that's actually really nice. It's kind of expensive, I think, as well. But yeah, we don't have Scythe. We do have Lancia, so that could be something we can do. Um, we also have Penguin, Torpedo, Bullet Bill, Nyum. And it's not a spell, we have number one. The stupid gate thing, along with Fossil Warrior Skull King. A garbage secret rare. You'll love to see it. Back on over to the Bulvo. We have some mad solos, bruh. Radiant Vorescence. Sprint the Iron Dash Dragon. Still sad that this is only a common Albaz Fusion. Should all have at least super or higher. Heavy Metal Foes, Electromite, and Sacred Tree Beast, Hyperiton. Yo, the new VFD, let's go. Super rare, very cool. Pendulum Encore. Who's that? Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster. It's Red Eyes. <laughs> Dual Avatar, Kickman, Steel Star Regulator, and Synchro Transmission. Here, we've still not even had um, Rendezvous, which is kind of weird. We're struggling to get all the commons that we need. Uh, right, Judgment Dragon. Shine some light on our luck, please. Raz Disciple. We have number S39 Utopia, the Lightning. We don't have normal Utopia, so that doesn't really mean much to us. We also have Solomon Great Gazelle. Okay, cute ultra rare, I guess. And it's not a spell. We have Appliance or Kermit the Frog. Looking for baddies. Very nice, along with... Uh, really? We... <sighs> Battles of Legend Armageddon, dude. Why? Why was it made the way it was? Uh, all right, Spring Guns, Branga. We got Electromite, Captain Sargus, Geeklock. Oh my God. Oh, we got two secrets and six fucking packs. Underworld Goddess of the Closed World, Link 5. Can we play this? We could maybe actually play this. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay, that's sick. That's a really sick pool. We can maybe consider that. Um, all right, hell yeah, dude. Synchro Transmission, we got Dream Mirror Recap, Buford Nine, and Stairway to Heaven. Dude, look how gorgeous that is. B-E-A, Buford. <sighs> I'm here all week, unfortunately. All right, Trishula Pack, Battles of Legend Armageddon. We have Sohaya, the Rainstorm, followed by Appliancer, Elephant, still no spell, dude, Invoked Raijin, and Goyo Guardian, Errata. Numeron Calling as our secret rare. God damn, dude. God damn, dude. God damn, dude. All right. Final, plat, final pack of Blazing Vortex. Armed Dragon Blitz. Sprint the Iron Dash. We got Rocky. Electromite and oh my god two secrets and an ultra. What is this dude? Wind Witch Freeze Bell. Ultra rare. That's kind of cool I guess. Archfiend Staff of Despair. Power Metal Foes. Breath of Acclamation and who's that? Yu-Gi-Oh. We didn't get Rendezvous. We didn't get the common that we were hopefully going to get. All right well final pack. Chaos Emperor Dragon artwork. Can we get the Chaos Emperor Dragon card? We have Appliancer Copy Vocal. Appliance or Dryer Drake. God, just give me a spell, man. Just give me a spell. Number three, the Seahorse. And it's a Link Monster, fuck's sake. Secure Gardener. And number C92, Heart Earth, 
Chaos Dragon. God damn dude, god damn dude, god damn dude. Ah, nothing. I'm saying nothing, but Underworld Goddess is staring us right in the eye. We really don't have too much space in our extra deck, but it is a possibility. We'll, uh, we'll maybe try it out or something. I don't know, it could be a challenge, I guess. All right, well, probably not gonna be too many changes today, once again. So, moving on. So unsurprisingly, the only change we are making today is replacing a Shekinaga with our new shiny Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Realistically, it doesn't really fit into our deck, however, as it stands right now, sometimes we have a bunch of leftover Melfis on the board or whatever, and we could potentially link away one of our opponent's monsters. Unlikely to actually come up, she's just there because it's cool and fun and new and shiny. However, we could turn that into a challenge, and moving on from there, I want to speak about the Maximus package we have. With the nature of our deck right now, because we are missing a few important pieces like Almirage for example, we're moving to a point where our deck is going to have quite a lot of cards that don't really do anything by themselves. Maximus and Schism are both good examples here because turn one with no other setup you can't really do anything at all with them and they're just kind of dead cards. Couple this with the fact that as we approach a more competitive environment there's going to be a lot more decks out there that are prepared for the Dogmatica matchup and have targets in the extra deck for the Maximus. Because of this, I feel like Maximus is probably better off as a side card unless we have like three Nadir Servant. Winda can of course just win games by herself but only against decks that aren't prepared to deal with her. So that's something I am thinking about in terms of the near future going forward but we don't have to worry about that just now, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's go play some games. Click this button. Alright, it's been a while since we last had him on here. Up first, we are dueling against Head Moderator Claff, here to once again show off a deck that probably 90% of people don't know. Here, you have a concern of just like, side content of Ngozi. Uh, what, cat cam? Well, something like that. <laughs> just in general, videos based on it. Because I kid you not, it's an actual suggestion I'm making. Rosie cam! I'm sorry. <laughs> I took off my double sleeves. And the deck feels so like small now. Two dice. Which ones? Wow. Four. Four and a two. Yo, Pog. And I'll be going first. You're going first. All right. Surprise me with this deck, this jank ass. <laughs> Good luck, heavy fish. Yeah, fun have, look God. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, main phase. Like fate, starry night, bayo fire. Oh my. God. It'll be easier if I just go get my bulk pile. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, add the dragon. Now we summon Astel. Uh, in the right main monster zone. Okay. No effect. Set. Pass. So that's free in hand. Is this what the deck does, or <laughs> is this just a bad hand? Basically, I'm just going to spoil you. How the deck works is you keep summoning the titular dragon. Because he's not yeah, he's not the hard one to turn on the pop. So okay. you keep summon, bounce, summon, bounce, summon, bounce, that's uh, the idea. Okay, so you have a... Potentially a poppin' and a gate. Um, alright, draw for turn. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. I will go Fractal Effect. Uh, send Nerva on Nerval Effect. Yep, Nervo's fine. Keras. Normal summon Keras. On summon. Yes. Riancia. Ooh, sure. Oh, what else can I do here? <laughs> <laughs> Triple tactics, draw two. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, it's fine. Nice. Uno, dos. Mm, Nadir. No, Chain Ash. Oh my god. I will, yeah, set one. And attempt to go end phase. End phase entrance is fine. And then do you pass priority? <laughs> I will activate Katty in end phase. Oh, I will chain Astel. If I target himself. Sure. So chain ink resolves, send to grave, and if you do, summon. And then Katty summons. And then effect on summon, target your back row. Pop my punishment, let's go. <laughs> Draw for team. I'm actually gonna lose to this shit. A stem effect, target Starry Knight. Banish, Gives him, give it a thousand. Yeah, until end of your turn. Battle phase, 3 5 into Katty. Katty effect. Okay. I'll go Poppy. 3 yep. 5 into Keras. I will take 2 Ooh. 3. Okay, that puts you on 5-7. Yeah. Main phase 2, pass with 1 in hand. 
Uh, Alright, draw for turn. Uh, we'll normal summon a bunny blast. You know what? On summon. Mm -hmm. Ice dragons, target that frap tower grave. Yo! Uh, no. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just got that done. Dryden? Yep. I'll go Dryden, target Starry Night Dragon. Vespinato? Yep. Battle phase? Mm hmm. 2 5. Okay, so I'm on 5 5. End phase? Okay. Go on. Puppy. Okay. Pass turn. turn! Yeah. Draw for turn. Activate Ceremony. End of main. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Um, draw. If it activate a card or effect. So just don't activate anything. Normal summon Catty. Overlay. In it joyous. Catty to attack. Yep. Battle phase. Okay, what's the damage here? Uh, 2 5, 4 5, 4 7 in total. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Take it though. Summon 800. Yeah. Main 2. Yep. I will pass turn. Draw for turn. Standby phase. I will activate Joyce Malfi's target itself. Sure. Resolution of that chain. Mm -hmm. Ceremony effect. Uh, yep. Starry Knight. Special. Effect on summon. Does it target? Yes. So thinking on target. Sure. Your catty in defense position. Chain 2, Poppy, Chain Link 3, catty in attack position. Okay. Catty to hand. Search Alpha. Poppy to hand. Special Kalantosa. Resolution, Kalantosa, target your dragon. Okay. Oh, and Katya in defense gets destroyed. Nah. <laughs> Game two. <laughs> <laughs> Game two ended up being a pretty back and forth grind. We didn't open too many good cards to just overpower Claff, so it was a resource game. We did get to a point where we were able to clear Claff's setup, and then all it took was a good top deck to turn the game back around. But we top decked a useless bell, and that sealed the deal. So we're going to game three. Good luck, Heavy Fish. Same to you. Have you ever seen Big Fish, the film? No. It's so, it's so fucking good. <laughs> oh, this is a hand. Um, I have a ho oh, baby. Ah, oh, you lose. First action, obedience schooled. Ooh, okay, you're fine. Boy, but then you're stuck to beasts, yeah. I am, yeah. Uh, um, I'll overlay all three into Joyous. Ah, yeah, you can just do that. Normal summon Ecclesia. Effect on summon. Ooh, that is fine, unfortunately. There's no point going Fleur de Lise because Malfi's goes to the extra deck and then you just fucking don't. Do you even have an extra deck? You do. I, I, I have 15 cards. I assume you're running Extravagance. <laughs> No, this is very combo heavy as you can see. Oh, fair enough. Uh, you can nib me every time. Uh, so add punishment. And I will set one. Set two, pass turn. Draw fitting. Okay. Oh fuck, no. No, no. Wait. Wait, hang on. I'll be back in a sec. Wait. Okay. Oh, I might need to double sleeve after. <laughs> what happened? I spilt Vimto on my deck. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate my life. Impoom on the Joyous. Uh, chain Joyous, target itself. Okay. Go uno, dos, tres. Proceed. Oh, no, no Kamantosa effect? <laughs> Absolutely not. Main phase? Yeah. Don't we summon Raya effect? I'll Ash. Well then. Well then. <laughs> End of main. Sure. Bathu. Yeah. 18 into Acusia. It's kinda rude, not gonna lie. Yeah, I'll take the end. <gasps> Pass on that. I should have catted on the normal summon. I'm done. Um yeah, okay. Draw for turn. Yep. I will once again overlay all three for Joyous. <laughs> Go battle phase. Yep. Two hundred. Okay. <gasps> Still winning. Main two. Set one. Hope you're not playing Duster. And pass turn. Draw for turn. <laughs> Let's go again. Rayel. Effect. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll chain warning point. Target rail. Oh no. What does that do? <laughs> That's uh, on. Oh, it doesn't even target. When a monster is summoned that. this turn, that face up monster cannot attack. Its effects are negated. Also, it cannot be used oh my as god, a negate effect. fusion, synchro, yeah. or link. 
<laughs> it's the first time I've fucking you. resolved that ever. Wow, I actually hate you. Ah, uh, you know what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna pass with that. <laughs> End phase, I'll go Malfi's target itself. Yep. Go one, two, three, Kalantosa, pop Rael. And draw for turn. One day you will add me, Sage. <laughs> Stand by, man. Yep. Oh my god. Joyous Malfi's! <laughs> Continue, I'll see it. <laughs> Battle phase. Is that like during only my turn? Or? Uh, it can only activate its uh, bounce back effect on your turn, yeah. Okay. I'll go battle phase. Yep. 2k? On attack deck. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so this is attack deck, from now effect. Oh, fuck. Basically summons him from hand. Oh, no. Wow, dragon. Effect, target joyous. Yeah, that's fine. Set one pass. Mm, okay. My turn? Yep. Drop? Yep. Bear fire? You may search. Fine, okay. <laughs> Rayo, then Rayo, effect on summon. You won't even get into summon that, I'm afraid. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> okay, you're on 5 7. 5 7 for the third game in a row. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what are the actual chances? This deck rewards um, conservativeness, so end of May. 2 5 direct. I will take 2 5. Main phase 2. Yes. Set a card. Mm hmm. Pass to you. Draw. I'll go Fractal Effect. Send a Nerval Effect. Yep. Ooh, baby. Add Keras. Mm hmm. I'll Twin Twisters. Discard Bell. Target your set. Uh, Chain. Effect on activation. Bouncing back. Sure. Normal Summon Keras. On Summon. Oh my god. Boom. Really? Wow, <laughs> dude. Alright, Battle Phase. Yep. I'll go in for 12. Alright, pass turn. Big draw. Draw for turn. Rayo effect. Target. Do only one target. From now. Okay, sure. End of main. Uh, yes. Badu. Mm -hmm. 15. I'm gonna punishment. Target from now. Okay. Yeah. Sent Titanic Lad. Okay, end of Badu. Yep. Even though. No, um. Main phase 2. <laughs> he really wouldn't even do anything. Yep. Pass. End phase Titanic Lad. Yep. Special Ecclesia effect. God. Search it's Maximus. Good. Yep. Draw for turn. Mm hmm. Worried about Maximus because you probably have targets. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go Maximus. Banish Malfi's special summon. Okay. Ecclesia to attack. Okay. Battle phase. End of May. Yes. You know what? Psych. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Um, 15. I take both. And 12, so 27. We'll go Maximus Effect. You guessed right. Fuck. Is that double X? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Double <I'll> interest. <laughs> oh no. So I think I have to send Antis. Ab Cologne. So chain one, my Antis target your back row. Okay. Two, Two from you. Oh. Ab Cologne. Three Antis target Keras. Four Antis target. Let's go Maximus. Then chaining five. Arrival. Effect on activation, summon one for hand. Yes, that is fine. So, special, enters pop Keras, enters pop Maximus, Ab Cologne, add Schism, discard Schism, uh, enters pop back row, and starting out on resolution, I assume pop Ecclesia. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> you have zero cards in hand. None. Main two, I will special summon alpha. Okay. Alpha effect target itself. Pass turn. Draw for turn? Yep. Rayao effect, target from now. Badu? Yep. 15. Woo! I'm on 17. Set. Pass. Oh my god. Uh, draw. I'll activate tanky. <laughs> <laughs> Actually swear thing. <laughs> <laughs> Add Thoroughblade. Special summon Alpha. Normal summon Thoroughblade. Special summon Dryden. Yep. Dryden effect target Flamel. Going to chain. Oh. Impone. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's actually fine. Summon Vespacito. I'll go battle phase. Yep. Uh, Vespa now went to Flamel. Flamel effect. Yep. Wow, who saw that coming? Then yeah, Starry Knight target uh, Alpha. Sure. We declare.
Vespinato effect. Yep. Target. Fractal. Okay. Cool. Um, swing for 2k. Okay. I'm on 2 9. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> Fractal effect for 2. Double Dragon Lords. Oh, this has been going on for too long. I know! Past turn. <laughs> okay. Draw for <a> thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. As much as I hate to say, that's actually a GG. <laughs> really? Called by the cop deck. Yo. Wait, how much life points you got? 29. Yeah, 29. Then, then I can just go shoe rig. Yep. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> GG. Going into round two, we ended up playing against Kaz on the Armed Dragons, and we won the Rock, Paper, Scissors going first. Our hand is... Eh. It's not terrible, but there's not really a whole lot we can do. We can Ecclesia for a punishment, and then we have double IDP and Ash as well. However, we have to think about whether we set all of our back row, or if we keep an IDP in hand. If we set everything, we don't get punished by a Blind Cyclone or Twin Twisters. However, if we do set everything, <laughs> we get really stung by a Harpy's Feather Duster. You don't really see too many different decks main decking back row removal nowadays, it's mostly just kept to the side deck. So we play around the Feather Duster and keep an Ice Dragon's Prison in hand, ending on a Clecia, Punishment, and an Ice Dragon's Prison, of course. Harpy's Feather Duster! Turns out we made the perfect call, feeling like an absolute genius. Oh, well, uh... Guess he bricked. Unfortunately, we're not quite able to close out the game after top decking a puppy, so we can normal summon puppy and go in for a little bit of damage, and then set our Ice Dragon's Prison and pass it over once again. But, Kaz just passes turn. His hand must be so god awful, I can't even imagine what it would be clogged up with. But we top deck a Bunny Blast, which is going to get us to a fair amount of damage. Getting into the Dryden and then the Vespinato. This isn't actually going to be lethal on board, but on the summon of our Wasp, we do see a Miradora come down, triggering Poppy and getting us a discard target for Keras in hand while Kalantosa pops the Miradora. While we don't have any materials for Keras's effect, we can still overlay it with the Kalantosa for Joyous Melfi's putting 6,000 damage on board. Still not quite lethal, but we do have an Ice Dragon's Prison to finish it off. So, uh, Kaz kind of killed himself here. Game 2 going second, we see a Nerval, which is kind of awkward alongside the Fractal, although we can still make plays with that. But we also have Obedience Schooled and Gamma Seal to deal with any big threats he can put up on the board. And then Punishment as a follow-up as well. This is basically just Wind.deck, so we see the Wind Witch package going off here, turboing out a Crystal Wing for a Monster Negate. And then the rest of the Armed Dragon Thunder stuff just cycles through all the levels, getting our Armed Dragon Thunder level 10, which is a quick effect pop on our turn. This also gets backed up with a little bit of protection through Armed Dragon Lightning, which protects it from being destroyed once. And then there's two back row for us to deal with as well. Onto our turn, we top deck a Called by the Grave, which isn't really doing anything right now, but it does come in handy against some of the Armed Dragon stuff. We do have access to some decent plays, but a pop and a negate is actually pretty difficult for us to navigate if efficiently with this hand. We do start by throwing a Gamma Seal over the Crystal Wing, so that's over and done with, and then we fire off the Obedience Schooled. It is pretty obvious that any Xyz we do make here just gets popped by Armed Dragon Thunder level 10, so we make the Melfi of the Forest, and of course, down comes the effect. This also discards one of his monsters to get a resource loop going as well, but we chain Called by the Grave to the Graveyard effect, turning off his resources, meaning we're in a bit of a stalemate right now. Setting Nerval and Punishment will conclude our turn with a Cyclone being flipped in the end phase. So uh, Punishment goes bye-bye. Passing it over to Kaz, that Armed Dragon Lightning is basically a once per turn rota. So maybe getting rid of the Armed Dragon level 10 with Gamma Seal was the correct play. But yeah, he's going to use that to search for a level 5 and then tribute over the Gamma Seal to summon the level 5. Activating its effect, discarding a level 7 to summon out the level 3 and... Called by the Grave gets the double whammy! Since it negates all monsters with the same name until the end of the next turn after it resolves, the level 7 doesn't get the card to his hand, meaning his level 10 can't activate its effect to pop our monsters, and he's stuck with his level 3 on board as well. Refusing to kill the Nerval here so that we don't get a Keras to hand, he just passes turn, and we top deck. Oh yes! 
Oh, you'll love it. Starting things off with a Nervile effect here, we're gonna banish two for cost and get our double Dragon Lords, which can just bounce the Armed Dragon Thunder level 10 back to the hand, playing around the spell card protection. Sending Nervile for cost here is also really nice because we get a plus off of that and get Keras to the hand. Now from here, we can pretty much go for game. We normal summon the Fractal and activate its effect, banishing two for cost once again, but we get hit by Solemn Strike here. You're probably wondering why not just activate it on the double Dragon Lords, but if he did do that, we can easily just get to the Shoe Rake and get rid of the Arm Dragon Thunder level 10 anyway. So it does actually hurt us a little bit, but the life point cost on the strike still puts him in lethal range thanks to Ecclesia getting Fleur de Lis. Unfortunately, I do forget about the Wind Pegasus in his graveyard, meaning we don't actually get the game shot. However, he doesn't draw anything playable and we get the kill on the next turn anyway. Round three, we played against Noodle on the Infinitrax and my god this game dude this whole match was a mess after 50 minutes of singular brain cells throwing turds at each other we eventually take the dub 2-1 Thanks to Winda. And finally, that brings us to today's Generation Duel, the third one of the series so far. We're 1 1 against the Season 1 deck. Can we take the lead? This is after the deck had lost the original deck mommy, If the World Chalice Justicia, and had then picked up a Crusadia engine and gone on to get second place at a regional. Alright, cool. So uh, this time. God, it feels, it's been so long. Um, yes, it has. You don't have Ib anymore. No, I have Crusadias though. Yeah, you, <laughs> you have acquired a Crusadia engine. Oleonis, Reclusio, when Maximus <laughs> to Arborea. At least she played the three Draco. Man, what a deck. And, uh, okay, Red MD is still pre Arata. Red MD's pre Arata. Let's abuse, something. Let's abuse it again. Yep. <laughs> let's freaking roll. Oh my god. 10. I am rolling 12 so often Ew. these days. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. These dice are like magic now. I will be going first, of course. Good luck, have fun, gamer. I'll start with a Fractal effect. Dump a Nerval, activate Nerval, search Keras. Normal summon Keras. Yes. Keras effect, banish two for cost. Yes. DDL. Yeah, on the summon, I will summon Fantasmi. Yo, that is a pog. Uh, yes. Alright, uh, I'll set one. And I will set two. Okay. And I will pass turn there. Alright, one, right, one of those is a punishment, I'm calling it. Drop it. Whatever you say, gamer. Whatever I say. Alright, so we're gonna go with the normal summon of Crusadia Arborea. Normal summon Arborea. So the issue last time was they tried to stop you early and then you just kept going. I just kept going. Yeah, you're fine. Think one. <laughs> yep. Magius! Wow. Uh, so then we'll go and special summon Draco. So we'll declare chain links, um, chain one, chain two. And normal summon the Draco. Oh well. Summon Spatha. Banish Magius to special summon uh, Cold Serpent. Oh my god, you have everything! Link one into LP. Effective Cola Serpent. Search White Dragon White Reverser. Spatha will activate on this chain as well. Yeah, then move LP. Um, so, chain, so, chain one Cola, chain two Spatha. Yes. On resolution. Yes. I will Ice Dragon's Prison and I will target Draco. Yeah. Alright, I'll banish Draco and Phantasme. And Phantasme? Okay. On resolution of that. Mm hmm. I will activate Double Dragon Lords, sending Bell for cost, and okay. I will target the LP. The LP? To bounce. Uh, that's bounce. Okay. Yeah. How many in hand? Four. Five. Six. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. This hand is ten. Um, we'll banish Cola Serpent to special summon Wyver Burster. On summon, we'll go Punishment, target Wyver Burster, sending Titanic Lad. Oh, Spath will be in the other zone. Actually, uh, uh, yeah. Special summon Maximus. Uh, yeah. You go into battle. Damn. Spatha, Spatha into Keras. Uh, so Spatha is on 5 plus 16, right? Yes. 21, 12. I will take Ooh. 900. I think we'll just pass turn you after that. End phase, I'll activate Titanic Lad. Special summon Ecclesia. Ecclesia effect? Yep. Add max. Draw. Stand by main. Ecclesia to attack. Yes. 
I will activate Maximus in hand. Banished attempt, mm -hmm. that's special summon. Yep. I'll go Maximus effect. Up clone chain one, enters chain two, target max. Add Shigazoom. Yep. Discard Ice Dragons. Mm -hmm. We'll go Battle Phase here. Yep. Double Dragon Lords attack over Spatha for 60 minus 5 is 11. Yep. So 6, 9, Ooh. and then 3k from both of them. Mm -hmm. Main 2, set 1, pass turn. Draw, draw. Hey there, bud. Normal summon Magna Rocket. Damn, bro. Sorry. On summon or schism. The schism. <gasps> oh, wait, Shot I don't man. have any darks in the grave. Oh, no. I can't quit. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I will be allowed to continue my plays. Oh shit, son. <coughs> well, I guess I have to. Half Cologne and Entis for Construct. Yep. Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon effect. Yep, yep. Add boot, add boot sector. Uh, we'll Striker Dragon effect to pop himself and add Anger Rock effect to my hand. Sure. Add boot sector. Activate boot. He's not even on field. Activate <laughs> boot sector. Um, the effect is a hard one to return, right? Correct. Right. Uh, chain, Double Dragon Lord, send Schism for cost, target boot sector to bounce. Alright, bounce. Activate it again. Effect, uh, we'll use the first effect to sum special summon two rockets from my hand with different names in defense. You can! Why not? So I bounced it when you activated the first time, the effect. I just activated it. I didn't activate any of the effects. Alright, sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Uh, Magnet and Tracer. Yeah. Ink, Yonk. Bonk. Scarlet. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, affect the Scarlet. Blow it up. I'll chain Fleur. Ah! Yeah, bitch ass! I hate it here! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> you tried. I tried and failed. Alright, uh, Construct can't get killed. Venus phase. Punch into the Double Dragon Lords. I will take 14. Ooh. Pass. Haha, <laughs> draw. Uh, we like this. Uh, Maximus effect. Fergie Entis. We'll go Fergie yeah. Chain Link 1, Entis Chain Link 2, Pop Scarlet. Yep, came to done. Boom, baby! <laughs> I'm gonna go first. Sure, good luck, have fun. Good luck, have fun. Uh, uh okay. Normal Draco. Yep. Mankeys. Alright, don't botch it. Reveal danger Nessie. Yo, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Yeah. Six. I got five. Damn it. No! Oh. I, I wanted it! <laughs> okay, Thanks. that's fine. Uh chain one, chain two. The draw's at the same time as the summon, but yeah, oh, it, it's okay, it's all fine. Okay, next, Mankeys, then. <laughs> That's where you draw the fucking Collapse Serpent anyway, the Wiper Burster. The dragon. Sure thing. Two. Spatha. Yep. Special Draco. LP. Spatha effect. Yep. LP effect. <laughs> oh, we summon Tempest. <laughs> and Radom D. Okay. Radom D effect for Vibe Draco. Yep. Finally get to do cute shit. <laughs> I miss summoning Saryuja. <laughs> it's so good, the advantage. <laughs> Activate so each effect. Yeah, that's Which fine. So each effect draw. One, two, three, four. Put that back. Okay. Activate Dragon Shrine. Ooh, okay. Abstrader, Abstrader effect. Uh, yep. And Tracer. This is pretty good, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I keep forgetting that we don't have Red MD errata. Effect the Saryu just Tracer. <laughs> yeah, Red MD was a good boy. Still is, sometimes. So it's Pisty effect, revive Red MD. Yep. Yonk. Red MD effect. Tracer. Yep. We just did we just did the wrong thing, but that's alright. We can see yours. Uh yep. Make striker dragon. No effect. Uh striker dragon effect pop himself. Add tracer back. Yep. A little botched, don't get me wrong. Foolish. <laughs> okay. It's like hey. galactic, galactic galactic viral effect. Yeah, you pop fixed you, you fixed it. Yeah, I had to do the Galactic Spiral play first. Mm -hmm. Unlike unlike the last time where half the comment section was like, he couldn't do that! Tracer was level 8! I'm like, that. <laughs> the Carbinger. Yeah. Boot Sector. Uh, it's not on screen, but yeah. Boot Sector. There, there we there go. He is. Cool, cool, He's cool. chilling. Boot Sector first effect. Bethel's e Tracer. Yep. 
effective tracer pop sector. Yep. We got there. It's the, fine. The classic boards. Yonk, yink. Yoink, savage for four. There he is. We could have gotten Harbinger boosted by 300 again. <laughs> okay, so Yuja, and then we'll, and then we'll set a card. God, here. you have a set as well. We'll oh, pass. No. And it will pass. Okay. I will draw for turn. Yep. And I will go standby main. Yep. I'll special summon alpha. Hmm. I'm going to... Alpha's three, right? 3,000, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, We'll go chain spheres effect. Sure. Tribute itself. Bounce alpha back. Sure. And a new chain spheres? Yep. <laughs> things, things happen. Someone sloth. Oh, shit. I don't, I don't have Goliath. Uh, I, have the, I have the better target. Damn, I have to think a little bit now. <laughs> <laughs> Special summon alpha. Again, yep. I'll activate Tanky. I'm going to eat it. Of course you will. Of course I will. And we'll use this nice little poly here. Nice Gold little grid. shiny poly. Very nice. Um, Sloth is on zero zero. Yes, but there's a Harbinger here. It's like hmm, there is how you doing? Need a Harbinger. How, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll activate Alpha Effect to target itself to bounce. Uh, we'll go. We'll go Savage Negate. You'll negate that with Savage. Okay. Okay, so three interruptions down. Let's let's see. Let's see. One, uh, maybe one more to go. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I'll go Triple Tactics and take control of Savage. Take control of Savage. Yes, sir. Sadly, I have to allow it. Normal Summon Whiptail. Yes. I will go Battle Face. Mm -hmm. Savage attack the Harbinger. Sadly. Four, 14 damage. I get, I get Savage back at the end of my turn, right? Yeah. Right. Um, Whiptail will attack the Sloth. It'll go to the extra deck face up because Pendulums! Pendulum! Busted! Uh, <laughs> Alpha was negated so I can attack directly for 3,000. <gasps> Main two. Yes. Make a Dridente. Summon Dryden. Yep. Dryden effect, target Savage. You bitch. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I need uh, a top deck of a lifetime. Vespinato. Yep. I'll set one. Go end phase, summon catty. Catty. I already need a Go great ahead. top deck. Yeah. Broke through everything. Like a boss. Uh, <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> Is that a card and pass? Damn. Draw. Oh my god, another one, really? Normal summon catty. Yep. Overlay. Okay. Ah, Joyous. got it. He got it. <laughs> yeah, baby! 700, 3000, 2000, set strike. Uh, he had nothing to fear, was it called by? Easy clap. Every So, like, every time I uh, do test hands with this deck, like, I can yeah. never I can never sort of picture a deck that I would be up against. So I always just imagine that it's against Spheres, Harbinger, Savage. <laughs> yeah. And, like, the amount of times it breaks through it is actually pretty surprising. And so we smashed the Generation Duel, getting that easy 2-0 for the flawless episode, actually, in total. We were joking about it last time, but we actually got it this time. Four wins! Not to mention the fact that we are rapidly approaching a positive win-lose ratio. Dude, we're so close. <laughs> Alright, now here is our big bulky beast of a binder. We have now officially almost filled out this entire thing and we've spent a total of £820 so far. I think we are still in the profit. However, I haven't actually had a chance to price everything up yet. There is a lot of cool stuff in here. It's definitely a nice looking binder, although it could be organized a bit better. I've done it in terms of rarity so far, but it's still kind of difficult to find specific cards that you'd be looking for. Either way, I'm proud of how far it's come from absolutely nothing, and I look forward to the final episode where we can see everything that we achieve by the end of it. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking now, so thank you so much for watching this far. I think this is, once again, the longest episode in the series yet. I appreciate 
appreciate your watch time. I really do. I'm glad to have you with me. And also, shout out to all the lurkers as well that don't comment. I know you're there just watching and vibing. I dig it. I dig it. But yeah, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye. Bye. Do you?